You know, my story, uh, it's a crazy story, but I think um, the thing I think most about is growing up in church and trying to get it right and feeling like I never got it right. And then I created, or it was created for me, I'm not sure which, that God was angry and pissed off and always disappointed. And I got to the point where I just didn't care anymore. I didn't care if I tried to do the right Christian life because it seemed like no matter what I was going to do, it wasn't going to be right. And so those decisions um, created chaos, sex at, um, you know, lost my virginity or gave my virginity at 15, got an STD at 17, I got pregnant at 19, and that ended in an abortion, and that started a whole trauma drama in my life that um, just took me on this crazy downward spiral. In fact, I remember when I left the abortion clinic hearing the words, God will never love you now, and I believed it. I believed that lie, and my life showed it because I just gave abandon to anything. Everything was awful, just the darkest season of my life. But, you know, I was telling somebody this story the other day that um, when the Lord woke me up, it was like Snow White getting a kiss from the prince. It's like just woke up from this coma-like state. And I remember when that happened, I said out loud, if this is what freedom feels like, you will never shut me up again. And I, I realized in that moment that that's kind of been my life story. I have tasted the love of God in a way that's changed everything, and I can't stop talking about it. And it happened years ago, and it, I've just never gotten over it. And I've gone through eating disorders, and I've gone through the journey of my husband's porn addiction, and I've gone through hitting all these walls at church and say, get in line and don't ask that, and you can't think this, and you can't feel that. And what that's pushed me into is just deeper places with God. And just the more I would throw my fists at heaven and I would bang on the doors of heaven, all these chains just kept falling off. And I just got more and more free because the Lord kept telling me, this is what I think about you. This is why I made you. This is what you and I are going to do together. And I'm just overcome with the love of God. And I think what's happened is, I'm like the woman at the well who just had to go tell everybody she knew about this God that she's met. And then this ministry started just because I told my story. And then women started telling me their story. And we all just started going, this God is real. He's real and he's crazy about me. And then it's just more and more stories of this wonderful, loving, gracious, giving God who says, come do my life my way. Come do real life with a real God, and it's going to change everything. And that's just an ounce of my story. And come see more of what life is like. I, I just, I can never stop talking about him. Never. It's too good.